What's up guys, it's Dallas here and today we're going to be continuing Juice World Pixel Art tutorial. In this video what we've been doing is continuing on the left side like we have before. Uh, before we start this video, um, real quick um, update about s stuff. I am plan to, like whenever I get bored or something, or if I just feel like doing it, I'm going to be streaming hopefully like scary games and uh zombie games with a webcam i hope that's okay with you guys it's um just kind of my spare time and then i'll also be doing uh hopefully tomorrow morning is as soon as i or i'm gonna set i'm gonna go ahead and upload it now but like have it set to upload for you guys to watch tomorrow morning of the time lapse of me building this and it's gonna be like the entire time lapse and it's not gonna be like it's not gonna be a really long video I, I edited it down pretty good and I thought it was it was pretty nice so um I'll be uploading that tomorrow morning as well and then there's gonna be one more of building uh, another Naruto pixel art but it just turned out really nice it's not as big as this one but it's gonna it's kind of it's bigger than these over here but it's still you know it's, it re looks really nice all right uh let's go ahead and get right into it sorry about um wasting time kind of talking about upload schedules and stuff and all, all that uh we're gonna continue where we left off before um let's see how we're going to do this Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take us these nether quartz right here, place it in between the corner of the bricks. Then we're going to take us some dirt and we're going to get one to the right, nether quartz, and two on top. One, two. And the next thing we're going to do is take us brown concrete powder and place two on top of the dirt. One, two. Next thing we're going to do after that is place, take us some terracotta and place it to the right of the dirt. And then we're going to take us red terracotta we're gonna go one two right here in between that little gap and then we're gonna take us the arcana log and basically going to place it facing out like that right on top of the left red terracotta on top of it we're gonna place brown concrete powder and then we're gonna place our terracotta in between this little gap one and then we're gonna place one two on top of brown terracotta or the brown concrete powder. We're gonna take our red terracotta and go one two like this in between that gap. We're gonna take our pink terracotta and we're gonna go one on top of the bricks and then one on top of the red terracotta. Next thing we're gonna do is take us some polished granite here i'm gonna go one two one two three four basically one past the pink terracotta sorry if i kind of place that weird i sometimes mess up and do that or right, place it up one like that at the end uh then we're gonna place us one two brick to the right of it next thing we're going to do is take us some pink terracotta here and we're going to go one two and then we go all the way pat down past one like this then what we're going to do is we're going to take on top of the polished granite we're going to go one two three and then we're going to go one to the right next thing we do is down here we're going to place red terracotta and we take us some arcana log and get one, two, three, and like that, just to make it look straight or you know, come face out straight. And um, mess up with words. Oof. Um, place our polished granite right here, and then one, two, like this on both sides up, um, up left and up right diagonal. Then we place, um, down left polished granite like that uh, the next thing we're gonna do is 
we are going to take us we're gonna need some red concrete powder we are going to need us red wool um, and we're also going to need us pink concrete and we are going to go on top of the um, we're going to go on top of the magenta terracotta over here and we're going to go one, two, three, then one over to the right from the middle then we're going to go one, two and then we're going to go to the left of the concrete powder with our pink terracotta and we're going to go one, two and then place our red concrete powder on top and place our red wool one two down from the left of the p top of the pink terracotta and then place one red concrete powder directly underneath the red wool then we're going to place one pink terracotta and we go one two three next thing we're going to do is go from the bricks over here to our left and we're going to go over four one two three four and then we are going to take us pink terracotta right here on top of the red wool I'm going to go one two three and then we're going to go one two three four place one pink terracotta to the left of the pink concrete. We're going to grab us some red glazed terracotta. So let's see. Grab us some from over here. And place it to the left of the pink terracotta. And then we're going to go one, two with pink terracotta. One pink terracotta on top. One to the far left. And pink terracotta right in between. We're going to take our red wool. We're going to go one, two place our red um, red concrete powder to the left on top of the pink concrete and we're going to take our pink terracotta we're going to go one two three on top of the pink um, of the red concrete powder we're going to go one two like this and then we're going to take our um, polished granite here and we're going to place it to the right of it then what we're going to do is we are going to take us some bricks to the right I'm going to take our arcana log and we're going to get one two like, uh, like this so it sticks out Take our red terracotta and place it to the right of the um to the right of the arcana wood. I want to go one, two, like this. Uh, next thing we're gonna be doing is let's see here. I'm trying to find the best thing to kind of continue with because there's so many different things that we can do here uh, to left the red wool on top of the pink concrete we're going to go one with the red glazed terracotta to left of it red concrete powder and place red wool on top of the red glazed terracotta and place red glazed terracotta on top of the red wool we're going to take us red glazed terracotta on top of the red wool at the very bottom of the diagonal Place us some red concrete powder, one, two, three, like this, making a miniature L. And place us red terracotta right in between. And we're going to take us pink terracotta up so it's one over the red terracotta right there. And we're going to go all the way over to on top of the red glazed terracotta then we're going to go one two to the left of it and there we go next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab us some pink glazed terracotta because we're going to need that in a bit 
and what we do is place a pink concrete. Let's see. Oh, uh, actually, what we're gonna do first is place a pink terracotta. Just kind of fill in this little gap right here. Go all the way over, and then place pink terracotta to the right of the netherrack, and then place pink concrete to right of the pink terracotta. Place pink glazed terracotta um, to the right. The pink concrete, then place pink concrete on top of it then go one two um <sighs> oof, okay I'm um, sorry about that uh one two with uh oof what, what did I just say okay so you go pink concrete then pink glazed terracotta you can go one two pink concrete and then one pink concrete to the right next thing you want to do is go one two pink concrete like this sorry I think really thinking very difficult very a lot uh, English I'm, I'm thinking a lot on what to do here in certain spots on what we should do and what we should do next uh, because I try to think ahead a bit so know what we should do. Let's place pink concrete on top of the netherrack. And then we're going to go one, two, three, like this. And then we go one, and then one to the left of the pink concrete diagonal from the last granite. Uh, next thing I do is right in between these two gaps, fill it with pink terracotta and take red terracotta we're gonna go one two and then we're gonna take our pink terracotta again I'm gonna go one two three one all the way over and then in between here and go like this so it's right in between both sides and that should just be four so you just you can count and double check one two three four and then take polished granite when to go up to one two red terracotta to the right pink terracotta to the right polished granite to the right pink concrete to the right that's what it should look like place red concrete powder down here and then we go one two with pink terracotta polished granite underneath the pink terracotta pink terracotta to right of the polished granite and then what we're gonna do is take our red terracotta to right of the pink terracotta and we go one two three four one two All right. Um, trying to decide what the best thing to do around this part is. I really don't want to do this area next, but I guess yeah, there's really no choice of me kind of doing it, considering that's what we're working on. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna head back over here. Cause I I don't wanna do that part just yet. I wanna wait for the at least the next um part of doing this because and just continue working on more of the stuff that uses a clump of one type of block and or or just a couple of blocks instead of a whole bunch of mixture until one because that'll take like an entire video and we're already partly in all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do um pink concrete to left the polished granite and then we're gonna go pink concrete to the right and we're gonna go four one two three four and let me just double check that everything is correct here 
we're gonna take what we're gonna do is grab us some magenta terracotta and purple we got both of them over here to our left because we need that kind of for the outside of the pink if that makes sense all right so we're gonna go one one magenta terracotta underneath the pink and concrete one to the right and then two we're gonna go up two on top one two and then to our side we're gonna place two one two we're gonna go and place us one to the right of it and then we're gonna grab us some netherrack and place us one underneath the purple grab us some red terracotta and place it one underneath the netherrack and we're gonna place us purple terracotta one two three four to the right of the red terracotta and netherrack uh, next thing we're gonna do is take our magenta terracotta we're gonna go one two and then we're gonna go three one two three one two one two we're gonna take our purple terracotta one two three one down below in the middle one two like this and then we're gonna go one two like this one two one two up one and then make one diagonal next thing we can do is go one two three four up one like this I know that looks really weird we'll be able to check later on if it's all in the right spots but currently we can't really check it because there's not much around it and that's that's why I try to kind of avoid doing that sometimes but like I just wanted to go ahead and get that out the way so we're gonna go one two right here one two three and it's all with purple terracotta I'm doing one two three one two one two magenta terracotta to the left of the purple terracotta and then purple terracotta terracotta to the left of it then magenta terracotta again I'm gonna go down two with magenta terracotta then we're gonna go one two three like this and then make one magenta terracotta on the far right we're gonna go with pink concrete one two in between this little gap magenta terracotta one two and one up top to the left I'm going to place magenta terracotta on top of the purple terracotta and place purple terracotta to the left of it and then we're going to go all the way over and then go two out one two on top of the magenta terracotta we're going to go all the way over again like this then we'll place magenta terracotta over here on top of it and we'll go all the way over again alright and if you want to check if this is right what you can do is take a block that we aren't using around it in this area and it should be a three block gap one two three and that's kinda how we can check if it's correct because it should be in the right area like that and as you can tell ours was three so it was correct Uh, next thing you want to do is take purple terracotta. I'm going to go. Let's see. We're going to go up to one, two, space one, 
two. Then we go up over three. One, two, three. Then we go four. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to go one, two, like this. I'm going to take us magenta terracotta. One, one, two. And then one sticking out like this. Then we're going to go one right here. One right here. And that's on top of the purple terracotta. And it's up and it makes it diagonal from each other. And that's what that should look like. It's a bit of a mess, but it'll start to look better once we get everything else put in. Like I said, I want to kind of stick with one block around a certain area. So I don't want to start filling in too much of other stuff until we get to, to that part. Okay, so what we're going to start to do is we're going to take our pink concrete. And we're going to go all the way over on top of the polished granite block. Then we're going to go from here over three. One, two, three. We're going to go from in between this gap all the way over past one to three. To leave that little one block gap in between. Place one to the left of the magenta terracotta. Um, we're going to grab us some pink wool right here. Place it to the left of that one block. And take us magenta terracotta. We're going to go one, two. We're going to go above that one, two again. Okay. And so now that we are pretty much done with that specific little area, I want, what I want to do is kind of, we're going to take our purpler block and our purpler pillar. We got some of that directly underneath us. And we're going to start using, oops. There we go. Uh, using keep pressing the wrong button Oof. Uh, using these two so how we're going to do this is directly above the pink wool right here we're going to go purple pillar on top and then purple block to top left diagonal from it diagonal up top right from it we're going to place another purpler block um Actually, no, 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 I did this wrong. What we need to do is we need to grab us polished granite first. Uh, sorry about that. Um, that messed up there. I'm going to take our polished granite, uh, make it die up top left diagonal from the purple pillar. I'm going to place purple block to left of it, purple block on top, pillar on top, or um, pillar to the right, and then purple block to the right of the pillar. Then we're gonna go one, two with the block. And then on top of the block to the left, we're gonna take the pillar and wanna go one, two. And what we're gonna do is take a purpler block. I wanna go one, two, and then we're gonna take the block as well. And to the left of this magenta block, we're gonna go one right here. And the good thing about building this is that we can check this all right, we can check both ways because if it attaches to the magenta block right here and then there's a gap space above then it's correct next thing we want to do is go f over four one two three four like this so it's on top of the pillar block and then we're going to go over here on top three one two three and then underneath the third block we're going to place a purple pillar like that next thing you want to do is take the purpler block one two place our purpler pillar one two three and then we're going to place our purpler block on top of the top of the left purpler pillar okay next thing i do is place purpler block to the left of the bottom purpler pillar and then we need to place two pillars to the left of this block right here so we're going to place one like this, break that one, and place it down like this. Alright, and yours should end up looking like this right here. And now what we can do is we can continue on with the rest, or with most of the surrounding area. I don't want to do too much of the other parts, like I said, with blocks start to mix up and get a bit um, 
like it's crazy so what we're gonna do is right here in between this gap between the pillars right here um we're gonna take our purpler or not purpler uh purple terracotta and we're gonna go one two and then we're gonna take our pink wool to the left pink glazed terracotta on top of the pink wool and then place another pink glazed terracotta and place pink wool on top we're going to place netherrack on top of the purple terracotta and then place one two and then go out one up one underneath that we're going to place our magenta terracotta we're going to go one two place our purple terracotta to the right magenta terracotta underneath I'm gonna place next thing we're gonna do is place our pink concrete up three on top of the pink wool. One, two, three. Next thing we're gonna do is take our magenta terracotta. One, two. Um, and that's from the middle block of the pink concrete and leave this little gap right here. We're gonna take our purple terracotta I'm gonna go one two three four like this to make a L and then we're gonna take our purple purple or block right here we're gonna go one two three and then we're gonna go one on top of the pink concrete with polished granite and we're going to take our purple or er, purple terracotta and place it on top of the polished granite and we're going to take our polished granite one two and then we're going to go with our magenta terracotta one two our magenta terracotta again one two three and then we're going to take our magenta terracotta once more one two and take our purple terracotta one two and it should end up looking like this uh, we're going to take our pink concrete and place it on top of the magenta terracotta and then we're going to take our purple terracotta again and we're going to go one two one two three one like this and then we we'll take our magenta terracotta and go one two one polished granite on top one to left and we'll place polished granite on top of purple terracotta and polished granite to the left hopefully everything I just said made sense and you can see um, over here we kind of built up a pillar sort of thing on this side before and that's kind of it's actually exactly what we're doing right here so you can see how the pattern continues because they're similar on both sides they're not the exact same but very similar all right so um i think that'll be all for today we'll continue more tomorrow filling this in and like i said this is a you know it's gonna be a bit more slower through this area kind of trying to get everything um, filled in here and built right because the different sections that we have to do in each video and that's kind of why I can't determine um, how many you're going to be because each section takes a different amount of time to do I want to thank you all for watching uh, I'm sorry I didn't upload yesterday I got quite busy with some stuff and a lot happened and so I do apologize about that but I'll try to continue to get um, at least two a day up and I want to thank you all for watching and I hope you um, enjoyed and yeah um, I'll see you guys in the next video bye